In the heart of Africa's most vibrant film industry, a star has fallen. The late John Okafor, fondly known by his stage name, Mr. Ibu, has left an indelible mark in the sands of Nollywood time. Known for his comedic genius and unique portrayal of characters, Mr. Ibu's passing has left a void that cannot be filled. His laughter-inducing antics on screen brought joy to millions, transcending borders and cultures. Mr. Ibu's journey to stardom was not a walk in the park. His resilience and unwavering faith in his craft saw him rise from a humble background to become one of Nollywood's most celebrated actors. His comedic roles in films like Mr. Ibu in London and Kizia brought a new flavor to the Nollywood comedy genre, making him a household name across Africa and beyond. His passing due to cardiac arrest following successful surgeries that led to the amputation of one of his legs has left fans and fellow actors in a state of mourning. However, the grief surrounding his passing has been marred by a family feud that has taken center stage. The bone of contention? A TikTok account. Shortly after Mr. Ibu's death, his adopted daughter Jasmine changed the late actor's TikTok account, which boasted over 1 million followers, to her own. This move sparked a backlash from fans who accused Jasmine of disrespecting the memory of the late actor. In the midst of the controversy, all of Mr. Ibu's videos were deleted, save for those featuring Jasmine. The account, previously known for its lighthearted content that celebrated Mr. Ibu's craft, was renamed to at Lady Jasmine Sorescor Live. This move was seen by many as an attempt by Jasmine to capitalize on the late actor's popularity, a move that has been met with widespread disapproval. The unfolding drama underscores the importance of respect for the deceased and their legacy. As fans and fellow actors mourn Mr. Ibu, it is paramount that his memory be preserved with the dignity and respect that his illustrious career deserves. The late actor's contribution to Nollywood is undeniable, and his legacy should be a testament to his talent, not a battleground for family feuds. In a world where social media platforms often serve as a bridge between celebrities and their fans, it is important to navigate these spaces with sensitivity, particularly following the passing of a beloved figure. The controversy surrounding Mr. Ibu's TikTok account serves as a reminder of this. In conclusion, while the dust settles on this family feud, it is crucial to remember the man behind the laughter. Mr. Ibu, with his larger-than-life personality and unparalleled comedic talent, has left behind a legacy that will continue to inspire and entertain generations to come. May his soul rest in peace, and may his work continue to bring smiles to our faces. Can this one do it? This one can do it. Which time? You don't understand, mother. You don't understand. You don't understand. Come, come on. Please, leave me. Yes, oh, where? Who? I told you to go and eat. I've eaten now. So? I want to rest. Where? Inside. Papa, I don't like the way you embarrassed my wife and I yesterday. You are very stupid. How can you go and carry a woman six times your size and say you are going to marry her? You want to kill yourself? It's my choice. Papa, let me tell you, the size and height of a woman does not matter in a relationship. What matters is love, okay? More. Whatever I'm doing is in your own interest. Please. Eh, that reminds me. 
My new wife will soon move in with us. I want you to please take her like your mother. <laughs> okay, no problem. That's if she takes me like a son. Uh, she will. She will. Uh, by the way, Papa, who is this woman you want to marry? <laughs> Queen. <laughs> if you see her, you like her always. Well, she's like my mother. Ma, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. You want to buy my water? Eh? Where are you going to live with her? Is it in River Bend or River Niger? Don't worry, she will stay with us here. Yeah. Here? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you, Papa. If you say that this woman is as beautiful as you said, how come she agreed to marry you? You're a fool. What are you trying to say? Good boy. Oh God. I don't know where to start my language. But everything happens exactly on God's own time. When the time comes, it has come. Good boy. If you not go to heaven, call me Nama. You will go to heaven and will sit down in the presence of the angels we eat together. And with the again make no more. Your life will never change. What we will be talking about today is how come. How come Ibu and uh, Bisper. They are not the same parents. When I tell you. Better than gone.